Uh, cool. We moved that thing over. Great. It's still doing work. It's still doing work, right? Technically, yes. It's supposed to be filtering out. What is it filtering out? Salt water. Oh. Oh my god. Really? All of that is for salt water? I must have really had a salt water issue at some point in time. Don't know. I have like a couple blocks of salt water, but I mean like, am I really worried about 300? 56? 224? Like am I seriously worried about 600 grams of salt water? To do what? To run a filter non-stop? No. No, that's like, that's super silly. Oh my god. Then let's just build a bridge then. Let's do this. Let's, uh, let's disable this. That way it's not taking any power. We might have to use this for something else later on in case something crazy happens, right? Uh, but what we'll do is we'll put a bridge right here and this bridge will... Uh, bridge. And then... Oh, hold on a second. What about our power? What about our food? Yikes. Uh, we're still fine on food. Oh, they did actually finally get that thing up to, to pressure. Hmm. Blueprint. Food, aluminum, mm, or shine nymph. Shine nymphs are made out of food. So I wonder why we're not getting... Why are we not getting the amount of food in that we need? I wonder what we're missing here. I'll have to follow these guys around in a second and see what's up. But I mean, they definitely have optimal conditions to make food. But is it just not enough? Am I not just not generating enough? Anyways, uh, ice, which is not been moved. By the way, this is negative. The temp shift plate is negative 17.8, so it's still actually warming up quite a bit. Why is it warming up? The gas pipe contents. That shouldn't be much of an issue. Now when you have three of these things running, or four of these things running at the same time. I see that it's not cycling oxygen in. Oh, this that's right. This one's not the... Why is it not cycling oxygen in? Oh, well, you know what? It's not going to matter because here in a minute, this is going to get backed up. Because look, this is getting... Yeah, this is going to back itself up. <clears throat> Let's do this. Let's do a shift in who gets priority over what and we'll say you go that way and then we'll cut this i think that will change the priority comes from the bottom versus the top i think and then this is gonna get full full here eventually oh my god negative 17.3 i can't i should have wrote down what it was i had salt water murdering my system apparently i did wow and this is like just like two little chunks now it's not even that big of a deal not for not for as much power as we're using for this. Oh, they they haven't come down and done that yet. I feel like we're we're just slacking somewhere. What's going on, man? This is done. This has not been built because the dig is yeah 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 yeah. So I guess we have not gotten a fat supply of ice. We do have some, but not as much as I would like right now. Not, not, not to get started on this project, but I guess we can start, you know, we can just start on the project. I mean, this is the coldest room between the two, so this one's gonna be fine for sure. The top one as well I was really concerned about. Let's see, ice. So, well, let's make it a one for now because everybody's sleeping. Okay, and that's all we could get right now. I built this crazy filtration system and like four chambers for unwanted gas liquids feels glorious. Doesn't it feel good? Yeah, right? When you just have like a crazy like chain of, especially when you use automation instead of filters, uh, where you're actually like, you know, setting up each detector for a pipe or for uh, ventilation or whatever, and it's filtering based off of that, then you, that feels really good. I mean, you know, using a regular gas filter and liquid filter is great, but man, when you build this shit yourself using automation, mm. Mm -mm. I try to tell, I try to explain. Some, sometimes I build shit and Oxygen not included, and I try to explain it to Jen because I'm really proud of what I've done. But ultimately, I'm just like, <laughs> so yeah, just you built the thing in a game. She understands, but at the same time, it's still kind of, I mean, I get it. <laughs> it's, it's not quite as uh, impressive. So then I go in the backyard and I start planting trees, and then she's like, oh. <laughs> you know, it's back there swinging an axe. His shovel out, got pickaxe, you know? Doing man stuff. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. It's not gonna work if it's just one. Shh. 
should have more ice building up. There it is. Yeah. It's the cold room. Look at all this. Look at this body heat. Look at all this body heat. Ah, ah, get out of here. 98.6 degrees. Get out of here. I wonder if that goes up when they're sick. Okay. So we definitely altered the temperature in here quite a bit. But the temp shift plate's catching up, which is good. Temp shift plates here is... Boy, it's all over the place. I, 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 I think it's because we said we're letting too much oxygen in to these rooms. <sighs> I think we need a stopgap here. Let's slow things down. We need a stopgap. It's going to be atmospheric sensors on every single vent. And then we'll set them low. That way we're not letting any gas in here unless we absolutely need to add gas. So let's do it. Let's do... Um... This is a lot, but this is going to really help with the... with this issue. Oh, really? That's just ruining, just ruining his feng shui in there. Stupid room. I'll, I'll, actually, I'll, I'll correct that. I'll put that there. Automation wire, no. I'm molding, good. I, I want to back this up so that it'll only let through oxygen when the um, when it gets- right now it's like 1800, they don't need that. They don't need that much oxygen. They're not that smart. <laughs> they don't need that much oxygen, okay? Uh, we could give them like 1200 and they'll be fine. <laughs> this is- this is eventually going to be a permanent thing, actually, so this is- Kind of a permanent thing right now. Um, I, I, everything's gonna be over overridden by um, thermostats. So thermostats gonna control the overall temperature of things, and it takes probably a hundred cycles for that to balance out. But that will definitely like the thermostat system that I built in uh, my other save. I'm gonna try to incorporate that here, and I think that'll make a pretty significant difference in the way that these guys uh, um, are just in controlling the overall temperature in this entire in this entire system. And I actually do it on a room by room basis. <clears throat> or a floor by floor basis, which is good because you know heat rises, so it makes sense to do it that way. But how do I get cooler air? Huh? I don't. You know what? Maybe that's not really too much of an option. We'll see. We'll see. Anyways, let's uh, wait for them to get those things finished, and then what we'll do is we're gonna lock those things down to what is it, twelve hundred? Uh, let's see. Send a green signal if it is above. Oh, sorry. If it's below, yeah. If it's above, uh, no. If it's below. Um, uh, 12, uh, 12, what was it, 1200? So if it goes below that, then it sends a green signal to open it back up. You just gotta wait for them to add all the things. There's a couple more missing. And this will lock all these things up. And this is something that did not exist when we, uh, when we played back in February 13th. Because this automation build came out, I think, the 17th or something. Uh, so, this was something we couldn't even do before. But at least not in this, not in this setup. Let me see, copy, oops, uh, copy this. Build that now, killing demon. Just go stand over his body while he's sleeping and fix that. No, nobody? Okay. Done, just one more, just one more, come on. Killing David. Is Killing David the one? Is he gonna be the one to do it? Oh, Wolfie's gonna do it. Okay, cool. Boom. Done. So now all these pipes are gonna get backed up, which is good. Then once all those pipes get backed up, then we should see this. Kind of get a little. We'll get this a little bit. Of, give this a little bit of a breather because it is warming up. I think it's because we had a steady, super steady stream of um, oxygen going out. This is not working, by the way. So I think what we got to do is instead of doing it where the thing is going over there, man. Um, this will do it then. Seems silly, but that, that should totally work. 
as long as we're giving priority to this one, because this one is coming from over here, and that is... It's, it's hot oxygen, but they don't care. Like, the suits could be 150 degree oxygen. They don't give a shit. Um, so, yeah, it's just a matter of just waiting for... Uh, or just getting this thing bypassed. That way, this takes priority. Which should be... That should be it right there. It's a little awkward, but yeah. Uh, it's either going to help everyone or intoxicate them. Oh, it's, it's the oxygen thing, yeah. You thought, uh, suits needed normal temp? I have, I have, I could be wrong, but I don't, I, I seriously don't think they care. Because, um, the electrolyzers put out, I think, at 130 degrees, give or take, Fahrenheit. And, as a matter of fact, we look right here. Uh, oh, this is 92. Like, it, I mean, I guess it depends on the water, but there's an upper limit to, to how hot they get. Uh, let me see, what is this guy coming out at? This is coming out 63. What? I never have it this good. What, 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 what temperature of the water is going in? It's 160 degree water. Oh yeah, don't chill air. Yeah, I, I wouldn't chill air for their suits. No way. They could deal with it. They're good. Oh, speaking of, how are we dealing with this? This has been open to space. What did I say? I said it's going to take hundreds of cycles to get through this. <laughs> The door has been open to space for so long, and it's still not empty. <laughs> what do we have here? Spicy tofu. We need food, so let's do that. We're going to have to follow somebody around for... Uh, let's follow Boots around, see what Boots are doing all day. Boots. Did these pick up snow? What's he carrying right now? Snow. Where's he taking snow? Why is he doing that? Hold on a second. Okay, so already, already is a problem. Priorities. So boots should not be picking up fucking snow. Cooking, digging, supplying, storing. Like, this, this should be bottom. Bottom. Tidying, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no tidying. No. Boots does not tidy. Boots cooks. He's tidying right now. I'm making snowmans. <laughs> I'm making snowmans. Okay, so now he should be he's farming supplies. He's going to farming stuff. Fine. Oh, he's gonna take. Sh there we go. Wash his hands. Yeah, look at that. Wash his hands every time. Now he's gonna eat. Okay, we're gonna have to follow him around for another day. We're fine. No problem. <laughs> That's exactly it, Victor. Exactly. Oh, he doesn't like the food. We're gonna solve the- the food's gonna be solved, I promise. I promise. Wow, that's a lot of hatches. That's a lot of hatches. Oh, what's wrong? Bright light. I don't even know which one is a damn light overlay. <gasps> oh, did it? Uh, I bet a stupid a light a nymph like flew by him. That'll get <laughs> that'll get the Barbie song out of your head. <laughs> oh God. Uh, do you want to build a snowman? <laughs> oh no. All right, let's follow Boots around and see what he's doing for the day. Uh, it's that white turtle. <laughs> the what? Oh, we lost him. We lost him. All right, here we go. He took a shower. He's gonna go over. He's gonna. But what's he doing now? Let's slow this down. He's doing some weird shit. Now he's storing crude oil. Okay, that means there's something wrong with the food. <laughs> there's gotta be something wrong with the food generation or something. Insufficient resources, bristle bear, that's, that's, not, that's not it. Um, it's a nine. It's got so many different resources in it. I actually wonder if we...
Let me lock him out of going over there. He can't pass this door anymore. He's done. Boots. Can't go through. Now, can he get back? Martha, Hugshot, Lindsay, Navy Devil. Did I do it the wrong way? <laughs> uh, where's Boots? <laughs> where's Boots? No, Martha, Adonis, Killing Demon, Boots. Can you get back? I, did that, maybe, I, maybe I did that backwards. I did. Okay. Okay, so the door is that way. There we go. Now you should come running back up. Hugshot, Navy Devil, Donis. Lindsay, Navy Devil. Hold on. What are you doing, Boots? He's storing igneous rock. Oh my god, the amount of work it takes for him to go up there. I'm gonna have to redo all of that. Okay, so when he's done storing Igneous Rock, he's gonna go back home. Now he's gonna go store- Man, get your butt up here! Is food to save an automation grid? That might be it. Let me get him up out of here, and then see. That might be it, actually. <sighs> I think you're right. I bet this is got a wire on it. It does have a wire on it. It's ena- oh, it's enabled, actually. It is enabled. But he's locked out of that area now, so he has no choice but to come back here. Um... What is in here? Meal lice, lettuce, 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 lots of lettuce. Okay, Boots, boot, he's not making any more because this thing is full. Now this is disabled. Oh, the automation. Did I have another... I bet I had another fridge here or something at some point in time? Hmm. Dude's bored. We really have to expand on our food stores. That's definitely something that, um, today me will prep, but tomorrow me is definitely in charge of. Stone hatch farms and automating the egg collection from non-stone hatches into a pond to generate meat for barbecue. Huh. I haven't tried that at all. Well, let me, let me just do the regular farming thing first, but, um, you know, maybe we'll get into ranching. I mean, these, obviously we're going to continue to multiply here. Are they all hungry? Elderly? Uh, we'll see. Lash red, don't don't. <laughs> okay, so let's get another let's get another fridge going. Because I don't like having sixty-three thousand, you know, kilocalories. Oh, oh, that's why. First off, Voxen, thank you so much. For ten months of support. I appreciate that. Voxen, thank you so much. Um Yes. This is what started the whole thing. I told them they could not eat lettuce. That's what started it. So let me go ahead and tell them they can eat lettuce. That should give them a lot more food to work with. Uh, Rip tomorrow, Mike. Automate food sticky. <laughs> we're gonna do it right. We're gonna we're gonna just expand the amount of food that they could generate right now. Um, right now it's disabled, but we'll, if we put another one here, then that should be okay. Uh, is it, do we need an ore? I don't think we need an ore. If one of them is green, it overrides the red, I think, right? We'll find out in a second. Let's go and say, uh, slow things down. Let's say, do the food. And then power refrigerator. Good. And then automation. There. And that should, that should do it. Turn this thing back on. It's enabled now because, yeah. What else is it hooked up to? That one as well, huh? Let's make this a seven and make this a nine. That way, if there's something to grill, I'd rather them grill something. We're gonna we're gonna get to the point to where we are hopefully making. I mean, bristle berries is the absolute minimum. It just takes a lot of work to set that stuff up. A lot of building. What can we... What's the overall temperature in the base? What are all the... What are the gas levels in the base, actually? We haven't checked that in a minute. 1500, it's good. 1500, good. Lower would be better. 
88 degrees? I mean, it's chill, man. Like, it's not that bad. You can feed those stone hatches, igneous rock. They just make, uh, they just make, uh, more coal for me, right? Like, I guess I could put a dropper there. And put, uh, igneous rock in it. What do I have? I have 46 tons of that. <laughs> so, yes, I could. How much coal do I have? Unlimited, I'm sure. Consumable ore. 51 tons. Hey, you know what? I, I, the hatches die, I don't care. <laughs> when in doubt, add more pipe. Everything is, that's the whole game, is right? Over here it's pretty warm, 91 degrees. Super chill over here. I would love I would love to just axe this whole area and build a better farm, but that's too uh that's too risky. Also, wow man, we're getting a lot of heat generation over here. How are these guys doing? Temp shift plates are all over the place. At least we're getting a return on oxygen, though. But these guys aren't turning on. Why? Ah, uh, because it's not... Ah, uh, you know what? We need to have a uh, atmospheric sensor over here as well. We're letting too much, too much oxygen in this space as well. So we need basically the same setup we got over here. Just copy. Over here. Boom. Uh... Boom. <laughs> There's you all of them. There we go. We'll control it down to the micro, the microgram. There we go. That way we don't have extra. Yeah, we, we don't need we don't need we don't need two thousand. We don't need these things have red X's. That means we're just wasting oxygen, uh, or we're wasting power, really. Always laying pipe. Can you feed the uh, the hatch the hot ass mafic rock? I wonder if you could delete temperature that way. That's not a, that'd be a pretty good experiment to try. Oh, okay, that's gonna take a moment to get to. Yeah, if we block, if we block all of this, yeah, this is a good, the pipes are full. The pipes are full, which is fine because all that's gonna happen is the pipes are gonna just radiate slowly because it's all insulated. <clears throat> it's 39 degrees. I wonder if I should replace that with, uh, no, 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 no. I was gonna say, if I replace it with, um, regular pipe, like, not insulated, I could cool the surrounding area while it rests in there and it will neutralize it. But the problem is that it will, it, it will continue to... to seep out into the, um, surrounding area until it's reaches a median, which is gonna be, like, what, like, 40 degrees or something like that, which is gonna be too cold. But it might be kind of fun just to do. <laughs> I just don't care about the heat. I think they live up to 170 degrees. Hmm. Done here. Good. Let's go ahead and do this. Cop Wait, did I actually copy the settings when I copied it? It did not. Close, though. Good. So good. So we have oxygen that's coming back, which is fine. This whole setup with all these little small uh, pumps was purely just to uh, uh, control temperature. But I think right now, this area being at 71 degrees, I think we could afford to cut off its uh, direct oxygen supply and just let it just pull in as needed. Like basically just PR in as needed, uh, bring in, you know, whatever it needs. It's actually starting to heat up over here. Now we got that job done. Oh, we're not done here actually. What? How do we, do we have ice? We do have nine tons of ice actually, just chilling right here. Let's finish this job over here. Then we could just, we could say that we made another permanent change. Permanent incogni! Let me see. And actually we have enough room, we could probably put a couple more here. In here. Oh, just shy, just shy. It's okay, the top one needs it more than the bottom one. Uh, I feel like something needs to be done about skill points. It feels like carrying an improved uh, strength are pretty great for everyone in exosuits, but unless you are really specializing in something, there is really no point in getting points on most skills. You know, you know what? You're you're right. You're totally right. Like with skills, I mean, look, like I have so much room on so many of these characters, on all of them actually. I just don't I don't need anymore. 
Um, what I've found actually is probably the best. I mean, carrying obviously is probably pretty significant. So probably I should get all of them that. Uh, but I don't want to give any. I didn't want to do all any of that yet because <clears throat> I'm gonna make them unhappy with some of the changes I'm making, right? But um, but yeah, no, you're totally right. Like it, it definitely is a. Uh, it doesn't really feel like it's that impact. I'm sure, like in like Super End Game, where the entire game is running like as efficient as possible, then maybe yeah, it's 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 worth it. But no. Yeah. You did it to yourself, Red. I saw you earlier. It's your baby shark bullshit. <sighs> Maybe this extra bit there will help. What do crown things mean in the skills menu? Uh, things that they prefer. So things that they they would be uh, right. Oh, the no, crown. No, heart means things that they prefer. Crown is people that already have that job. It's a quick way to look and see. It's like, oh, people have that job. So it's like, do I have somebody that does construction? No, I don't. Not, not a single person, actually. Wow. <laughs> huh. Hmm. No, yeah, but I'm not gonna give it to anybody. Oh, wait. but the thing I found is probably the most impactful in terms of like, uh, in terms of like dupe improvements, is straight up just throwing them on, um, on cycles constantly. Just have like a light somewhere that's just draining a small battery. And just have like four cycles hooked up to it and your dupes will just sit there and just generate just the most extreme amount of athleticism you've ever seen <laughs> and so yeah that's that's one thing you could do what up vextrous all right I, a long time ago i said i was going to uh move some of this plastic which we now have 14 tons of uh and use it can i go across here Ooh, can't. It's okay. Um, we can skip one. Can I go across here? Oh, I can't. Oh, that hurts the feelings. That hurts the feelings. Um, kaboom, baby. Kaboom. What? My Mick, dude. What is your situation like right now, man? I know you've had it kind of uh, crazy earlier in the year, but uh, hopefully things for you have kind of, you know, leveled out a little bit. How's everything going, man? Let's go kill this. One plastic ladder. And then what we'll do is we're, we're going to run a transit tube all the way down and then maybe all the way up and then drop it off over here and that'll help them, like, that'll cut down that, uh, that trip by a significant margin. And actually, you know, I should have two, two of them actually. One of them going straight down. That will just drop them off. Like right here. I think that's high enough. Or low, whatever, low enough. G, I got discovered precondition. Oh, so you're good then, right? Oh, good. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. And we can run this over here. Whoops. Oh, wow. Oh, man. All the way down. <sighs> How much plastic I have. Stupid. It's fucking stupid. Um, should I have them go all the way up here to drop them off right there? Bloop. Let me see. How would that work? We could skip the one and then go. We cut through a little bit. It's a nosh being there, but. Maybe we just drop them off at the bottom. Let's not, let's not be too silly. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not get ridiculous. Let's just drop them off right here. Uh, we'll cut off uh, a little bit here. I actually was thinking it might be kind of cool to uh, have these guys live out here because it's so cool already. It'd be really easy to just set these guys up. This is meat, unrefrigerated, sterile, atmosphere fresh, 100% unreachable. Nosh bean. Yeah, I don't want to do this nosh bean stuff. Anyways, yeah, so that will good. They'll get all this stuff done. Now they have two different ways. Oh shit. Okay. Well, you know, we don't need this thing. Get out of here. Get out of here. Both of these. All this stuff. Get out of here. The whole thing. You can see one tile. One mesh tile. They can land on. That's it. They can have access to all this stuff. Beautiful. 
The rust, yeah, the rust biome. It's, uh, I haven't messed with rust really at all, but it does a lot of phosphorite right there. Um, it is phosphorite, right? Oh, it's obsidian. Dang it. What does phosphorite look like now? Now I gotta refresh my memory. Um, there's a ton of nosh beans everywhere. Nosh sprout. What does it need to live? Whoa, it needs to be cold. It needs like zero degrees or below. Uh oh, somebody tagged me in a post. What is this? Spam! Let's see. Tag options. Remove me from this post. Remove. Go fuck yourself. Done. Look at that. Um, yeah, I haven't messed with rust at all. So I don't really know what the... Like, I haven't... Like, the, the rust... Powered oxygen generators? I haven't messed with those at all. So I don't really know. I don't really. I don't really know the power of rust, as it stands. Oh my god! Everything up there just dying constantly. Oh man, we're so good on power. We're so good on so many things. Oh, do I want to move down in this space? I do. I really, I really, really do. I want to come down here. I want to lock off this saltwater geyser. I want to siphon this saltwater geyser, and the salt water, and just eject that shit out into space. How do you? I, there's, there's a process here. Let me see. Uh, oxygen. Rust deoxidizer. Here it is. Converts rust into oxygen and chlorine. Becomes idle when the area reaches maximum pressure capacity. Yeah, of course, it's basically functions like a uh, uh, electrolyzer. So yeah, I don't know what the... Um... Yeah, I've never used one, though. I mean, there's plenty of rust over here. Like, what are we looking at here? Metal, I'm guessing. Uh, okay, maybe it's not metal. Maybe it's a mineral. Oh, it's a consumable ore. Okay. <laughs> it's like, what? what is it? I, I'm fairly certain that rust is a mineral of some sort. Technically a metal, right? Uh, no, it's consumable ore. Okay, cool. So rust. So, I mean, I, I can make a ton of oxygen using this. Eventually. I have plenty of, uh, of rust around the base, around the area. Make taffy for salt water. Any reason you use uh, natural gas? Oh, you'd use that over natural gas origin? I, that I can't say. I couldn't say. Uh, but look, our, this is... They're picking up rust. Okay, that's fine. Why are they going that way? Somebody should use... They should use the... the where are you going? What the fuck was that? Someone was... Uh, let me go look outside real quick. That was a loud bang. Sounded very close. Hey, look, ice! <laughs> Alright, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Let me go peek outside. That was the mailman. Uh, the ice is going to melt, but I think they already moved it to, uh, to the, over here, this space. Ah, uh, yeah, it was a mailman. Just, uh, just beating up the mailbox that I recently painted and mounted. How's this doing over here, by the way? 70.8. Okay. We can go ahead and build another one here, but I think we're pretty much done with, uh, ice in this area, so we could probably go ahead and lower that after we're done building this here. Yeah, and that'll be it. Gotta pee. Mailman go boom for reals. And that pretty much ends this whole project. Another permanent thing, Cogni. There, so they'll move that uh, at the earliest convenience back over to where it belongs. Ah, <clears throat> uh, they do need, God. You know, there's a lot of like dead ends for our two. First off, the, the piping, the, tube, the tubes that we have is so needlessly complex. I mean, like, look at this. It, it goes up and around, and it goes da 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 and then it comes. It does this nonsense. They love this. <laughs> um, I I feel like I need to break through some of this stuff, collect up this chlorine somehow, and then, you know, make make the necessary adjustments. But yeah, this is. What are they cleaning up here? They should only be coming down here just to do work, and that's it. But there's some stuff to clean up. It seems. Maybe if I have them. 
clean up some of this stuff <clears throat> and all this down here. Then I don't have to worry about them coming down here for like n n needless simple things. Which, by the way, I mean, like, what are we looking at in terms of power? God, uh, are we breaking it? We're not really breaking it. But we do have spikes where we are. I wonder if we could build another, um, uh, another, what is it called? That building that shoots some boom, transit tube access. If we build another one of those somewhere, maybe, could be like right here. That don't get them to work super fast. We put it right up. We're going right next to the damn thing. Let's do it. Let's do it. There's no re no no reason to rob these guys of uh, of uh, being able to get to, to and from work easily. You know. Now this is this is nonsense. This is dumb. But we could at least cut down some of their transit time. And then we'll. Yeah, it's actually a geyser. That's why we're not going. That's why we're not putting it there. Oh man, this is gonna blow shit up. This is gonna blow shit up. Let me think. If I... There are two things that are <clears throat> taking a ton of power from this area, right? It is the oil refinery. I'm sorry, it's, 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 it's this area right here and this area right here. Um, this is only a 240. I need transformers. I need to stop messing around with these like wimpy ass lines and get some actual transformers in this bitch. Cause this is um yeah, this is silly. If only diagonals were a thing, please. It'd be like uh Wet and Wild. Wet and Wild was a water park when I was a kid. I don't think it exists now, but uh Wet and Wild was so great. So for example, so for example, this thing is basically using power when it doesn't need to use power. Let's make some let's do some automation here. Like lots of automation. So let's do hydro sensor. First, put it here. Sensor, boom. There. We'll control that as needed. This is what, uh, if it's above 2,000, it gets rid of it. How about we actually make that above, like, 10,000? Basically, it's never gonna turn on again. Because, why? We're ejecting everything into space. Space is infinite. We don't necessarily need to worry about, uh, this little bit of gas that this thing can pump out of here. We're not using to power anything, it's fine. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna build a couple transformers here. So this thing's gonna to turn green when what? I uh, went above uh, what, like was it one thousand one? Okay. So it's above one thousand one, then it turns green. This is disabled automation. Here. Perfect. <clears throat> Let's get some transformers in here. That way we can still maintain the single line, maybe double line going all the way down, but we will be able to regulate that power a little bit more easily. Get them to and from work a little bit faster, etc. You wanna hear about space all black hole cells that says hi? Don't threaten me with a good time. Let's see. Uh what is that? Like two, two, three high? Two high? Is that right? Oh, it's like how tall are these things? Perfect. Good. We can put one here and then one here. That will connect everything up here with heavy wall wire, which we have lots of material to do that, right? Iron. We have a lot of iron. Do we have an iron... Do we have an iron, uh... Volcano somewhere that I forgot about? <laughs> Somehow? <laughs> Probably. Uh, let's see, we'll go like this, and then we'll come around here to here. There we go. <clears throat> Wet and Wild just sounds like one giant incubation picture just right about now. It does! Everything sounds like that now! This is build another permanent fix. This is a permanent fix! Uh, it does, it's here. It's robots and stuff. I think the holding me back right now is that I really need Atmos suits set up. Slime Lung is a pain. Dude, Atmos suits is the best! 
Like, it's a lot of work getting, like, the, the station set up and individual docks and all that shit. And, like, getting oxygen to it and power. There's, like, all this crap that goes into it. But, man, once it's set up, it's beautiful. It's so good. It's so good. Uh, let's see. This needs to be broken. Like, stat. That one, at least. Thank you. Mmm. Good. <clears throat> so now we can run power to uh, I think we need to run an extra layer of power all the way down. So what is this made out of? Lead. Well, it's not going to melt, right? So we'll do this. Ugh, this is so disgusting. Uh. <laughs> all right, uh, we could go to get rid of all this. Obviously, I had a, had a different vision before, and let's decide what we're, how we're going to separate this. So we have the bottom layer, which probably could handle the one, two, uh, three, four. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then the ah, yeah, perfect. So what we'll do is we'll split it here basically here and then that's gonna be on a separate line entirely this this noon line is coming down oh you know what we could just reuse this um we'll do that <laughs> we'll see and that will run all that stuff on top let's go ahead and cancel the destruction of those whoops and rebuild that okay and then the bottom is all gonna be run by the second. So we have one, and that'll jump. And then this will just plug right in. We have to do a lot of disconnecting here. Second. Uh, I've heard of people who actually keep dupes in suits permanently because they can use the restroom in suits. So you technically could probably do that. Let me see. Uh, let's get rid of all that. Get rid of this because those will break sitting off on the edge over there. They'll totally break. And then, oops, we need a couple tiles here. That's connected. That's connected. Good, good, good. Oh, they're so fast. Look at that. Oh, man. Dupes are the best. Look at this. It's not like we have a choice. The dupes are the best, or they're the worst. <laughs> Great! Look at that! Beautiful. Now we have a good amount of power distributed. Probably don't have any uh, overloading issues. 1920 and 2410. But this is 2410 because... Because... Let's see, 480... 240... 1200... 240... Okay, yeah, so it's, it's a number of things that would... Uh, have to happen in order for it to overload but but these things are not going to be running at the same time so we're good <clears throat> as part of an apartment complex oh shit do it we have some natural gas building up over here we also have tons inside the lines already so we don't have to worry about that we have tons of we are in natural gas heaven right now Why? Why are we not getting dirt? Do we not have dirt? Uh, Colorado soil. <gasps> How do we not have dirt? Uh oh. oh. There's just not a lot of dirt here. Oh my god. Oh, no, 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 no. There's lots of dirt here. In the form of a ton of temp shift plates. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, see. Background buildings. Let's nuke it. 
Let's just nuke all of it. I don't know if it's a study doing anything, so let's just nuke it all. Wow. You ran out of dirt, dude. What do we do? How do we make more dirt? We have dirt here, dirt, I and mean, we have like some dirt around, but it's not even like it's not even enough to go and start mining dirt. Oh, composting. Oh man. What do we feed? Yeah, our house is a compost. That's I mean that's polluted dirt, and then you. Oh. There's gotta be another solution. The output from the sieves. That's right. Oh man. I can't believe we ran out of dirt. Wasn't expecting that. Huh. Let me do this. Let me do some, uh... Sandstoning here. And then I'm gonna cut all this shit out. What is this? Coal, coal, coal. That not really. There we go. And then I'll have them come in and cut all this damn dirt out. Let's see. First start here. And then here. Crazy, man. Can we ran out of all this stuff? Some organic resources, slime, algae, can be cooked into dirt by heating them above 124. So slime, algae, and fertilizer. So slime, we have a lot of slime. What is a uh, computer? How many degrees Fahrenheit is 125 degrees Celsius? One, five, five, two. 257 degrees Fahrenheit! How does it work? <laughs> Do I just like leave a pile of uh oh? Why did Martha piss herself himself? I just didn't make it back in time, it seems. Okay. We could take that away, it's fine, we cleaned it up. <laughs> okay. Really wants us to know. Oh god! Oh shit. Oh <gasps> Damn it! Oh, you were doing so well. 